Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In tonight's video, I just want to talk about correlation of Bitcoin to other altcoins and how that all moves the working pieces in the market and why it happens. So there's a lot of confusion um, because Bitcoin is the denominator and a lot of altcoins are priced in Bitcoin on exchanges. And for a lot of altcoins, it's a two-step process for going from your bank account in fiat money to go to buy Bitcoin, to move that to an exchange like Bittrex to buy altcoins. And because of that process, the last time Bitcoin sold off, a lot of people sold off everything with it. And it does create a bit of a drag and a positive correlation. So if Bitcoin sells off, all other coins tend to sell off with it. But I think that's something that's going to change in the future. And last time we had a big sell off in Bitcoin from around the hard fork news and the headlines around $3,000, we got all the way down to 1800 and everything sold off sharply with it. And a lot of people are still looking at Bitcoin as the, the crypto market. Okay, so whatever happens in Bitcoin is happening in the crypto market as a whole. And I think people are now starting to work out that these different coins and different projects are not affected by the price action in Bitcoin. So I told my members that this was nothing more than a buying opportunity. And if you had good coins with good projects and good fundamentals, there's no reason that they should be selling off just because the Bitcoin might be having a hard fork. And sure enough, we've seen that play out at IOTA, NEO, um, Amisa Go. I could name half a dozen coins that have had strong price run-ups that are acting independently of the day-to-day -day action of Bitcoin. And even some coins like Ethereum and, and Litecoin are, are treading water and holding their own. They're not having these big wild swings um, along with Bitcoin. So I know traders are jumping in and out of different markets and there's always a lot happening, but I just want to try and explain to you why correlation is important. So here's a 90-day correlation matrix. So how much the price of one coin relates to another over a 90-day period. And this is from cifferdata.com. Now, a positive correlation in red here means that if one goes up, the other goes up. A negative correlation would mean if one goes up, the other goes down. And obviously, all coins are showing a strong positive correlation to some degree. So zero means that they act completely independently of each other and have no relationship to what one does doesn't affect the other. So obviously, the larger market cap coins, the the more they're correlated. So if Bitcoin goes up, there's a 65% correlation with Ethereum. And... The lowest correlation on this chart here is Ethereum Classic to Ripple. So those two coins, doesn't really matter what Ethereum Classic does, it's not going to affect Ripple too much on any given day, if, if that makes sense. So that's the way to look at these correlation matrices. And I think we're going to start to get some, some blue on this chart. So we might start to see if Bitcoin goes down, people start to move their money into other coins. Um, and that's what I'm looking at. I really want people to start to judge these coins independently rather than viewing it all through a Bitcoin lens. So I'll give you a few more examples. So in the stock market world, strong positive correlation would be an example such as gold and silver. So if one goes down, the other's going to go down. Stock market, if one S&P 500 goes up, the NASDAQ or the Dow, they tend to all go up on a given day. So strong positive correlation, whereas a negative correlation might be if the US dollar goes up in price, the euro is going to go down in price as money is either going into one or the other. So that's an example of a negative correlation. So I hope that I'm explaining that clearly and I hope that you're starting to understand how exchanges price their coins in Bitcoin. So this price... The price of NEO itself in, in dollars is, is what is important. So any coin has a dollar value in US dollars. That's a market cap. That represents how much money is in that coin. And even if that stays the same, if the price of Bitcoin thrashes around, that's what you see on the exchanges or on this chart here where it's priced in Bitcoin. That's what you see in these wild thrashings around up and down. So the actual dollar price could have stayed the same in this whole period of time, but if Bitcoin is going up and down, it's going to affect the the BTC price or the Satoshi price, the decimal unit of Bitcoin. Um, it has eight decimal places, which is known as at one Satoshi. So a lot of people are talking about the price of coins in Sats or Satoshis or Bitcoin, and I hope that I'm explaining why I prefer talking about them in dollars to avoid that confusion. So. I think it's going to be different in the future. I think good quality coins are going to move independent of the Bitcoin price. If Bitcoin has a large sell-off, I don't think it's going to drag all coins down 
um, with it to the extreme that it did last time. I think people are going to look to use their profits to to swoop in and buy other good coins and good projects and I think it's going to be a little bit different this time. So hopefully I've explained that clearly. Have a play around and keep an eye on this correlation matrix. Um, I'd love to see them add more coins as this is really helpful um, data and information. So as always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Please hit like, subscribe, um, share this video around. And as always, thanks for tuning in.